Hey guys, Steven, this is day two. We're still at AIM Expo 2015, and we are in the booth of one of my favorite companies, and not just because we use a product, it's because it's a really nice product. We're in Cena Bluetooth, and I'm here with Michael, and we're gonna talk about a product that we, we saw last year. We kind of looked at it in another configuration in the helmet-mounted camera, but tell us what we're looking at here, Mike. So this is our Prism camera systems. This is our Prism full pack. Comes with four different mounts. Handlebar mount, suction cup mounts, helmet mounts, and a waterproof case. All in one box. Retail $249. $249, wow. In the event you're just doing some vlogging or narration, and you're just gonna have a mount to your helmet, this comes with a helmet mount, it's our Prism Light, and it retails for $199. What's the helmet mount look like? Very similar to this. It just okay. clips onto the side of the helmet. So there's a, a piece of adhesives on here, and this clips inside, right. and it's good to go. Now let's show the camera, because this is really cool. So this thing, like, when I first saw this, it was a prototype. It was a box. And I think last year we saw an actual working one, because right. I saw it two years ago at AIM. So this thing, I can't describe how light and tiny this thing is. And it's a Bluetooth device, being we're a Bluetooth company. So you can pair up to four riders to one camera. So I, you can actually narrate. So you do your narration or your experience if you're riding with a couple of folks. Actually, three riders to this one. You can, you can pair for three riders to this, and then the camera actually takes one spot on the four rider. Now, I, I was under the understanding, too, that you can have narration and music going to this at the same time? On the 10C, our other camera that we introduced last year, right. you can record not only narration, not only three other riders, as well as music from the FM transmitter built in, or streaming music from your iPad or That's your really cool. or things of that yeah. nature. And so this, the type of mounts we have available for this, besides the helmet mount, are, I notice this is like a handlebar mount? Handlebar mount, or I have one actually on a uh, bag mount, as okay. well as an engine guard mount. We have suction cup mounts. We have this mount that'll have two suction cups on the side. Two suction cup mounts just for increased stability? Yeah, we put them on a tour pack or put them on a carrying case or something of that nature. So this will work directly on any one of these mounts with or without the waterproof With housing. our quick release mechanism or our QRM system. And so if Basically, you buy this, this prism pack, you get everything in it, right? On this pack, yes. That's amazing. All right, so I noticed that there's something over here that looks a little bit different. So we're introducing at the AIM show our newest camera, it's our Prism 2, and it's basically, it's a non-Bluetooth device, so it comes with a wired headset, so you can actually do your narration though through a wired headset, but the price point's a little more aggressive, it's $139. Wow, $139, and you get a camera, a HD camera, I take it, Correct. that's wired into a headset so you can narrate on here. So this could be used for a lot of different things, too. Correct, you can yeah. have it as a shoulder camera, I mean, I've got some police departments talk to me about it, and things of that nature. Really neat. What is this here? This is just a battery pack for now. For this device? Um, this is just a battery pack to charge, uh, to supplementally charge some of our devices. Okay, so if you have this in the field, you can charge up the camera? Correct. This right, is cool. a future product. Future product. When do you think something like this? It's actually really neat, because we were actually talking about with the gear dude, Spencer Hill, about the trip that they're going to be taking um, where they're going to be remote for a long time. Right. So you might not have access to charging. Something like this would definitely come in handy. How many times could you plan on charging that with it? Um, I don't know, but this may have, in the market, this will have probably the best discharge. It'll have over 5,000 discharges as opposed to some of the others out there. Wow, that's really cool. Hey, one other thing can we grab real quick is a handlebar control. I want to talk about that. Sure. The remote handlebar control. All right, so here we're here still at Cena. This is really cool. This camera is pretty neat. It, it's a lot smaller than some of the other cameras on the market. It's really tiny, and there's absolutely no weight to it at all, so that's cool. All right, this is something that we've been wanting to talk about. So the handlebar remote works, or comes with our 10U products, which are our helmet headsets that are integrated to the helmet. Shui Geotech, Shui, I'm sorry, G, Shui ne, Neotech, Neotech, GT Air, Arai, and the C3 Pro from Schubert. And this drives the device. Turn up, turn down, fast forward, rewind, tap for intercom, or tap for cell phone. You could also buy this as a separate piece for the 20S and the 10C headset portion of the headset camera. I like the idea of having this for the 20S. So how does it go on the bar? So I recommend putting it on the left side bar, like this, and have your clutch lever come through. Some folks put it in other areas, 
and then the event you have a passenger or someone doesn't want something on their handlebar. We have a wrist remote that has the same functionality. You can either wear this on your wrist, like for a passenger, or you can actually take this off and Velcro it to the tank so you can actually operate it that way, or on your mud guards or your brush guards and operate it like that. Tank bag, anything that's got a place where you can mount it. That's really neat. I didn't think about that. $99 retail, $99 retail. Wow. As a now, unit. when this is connected, does this take up like a spot for your GPS or your, your phone or anything so like that? So this connects to the headset. Okay. So no, it does not. No, it does not. All right, perfect. All right, Mike, really appreciate it. Thanks sure. for your time.